One, two, three, four, let's go. It's hardly. It's a fabulous show. Alaska. I heard be Alaska. It's hardly. Oh. <laughs> Alaska. Pull up a chair and enjoy the show. You hear it from Sitka to Barrow. Gather around for Genie's show. It's the alley. Everybody, welcome to Heartbeat Alaska Native News and Information. I'm Jeannie Green. Today we travel to a remote village as usual, this time the interior village of Galena, Alaska. Galena, this time of year as other villages across the state are preparing for their spring carnivals. Well, we happen to be in Galena and caught theirs. That plus Gila, the Galena Interior Learning Academy. It's a great show. I'll be back right after this. There are two sides to a man. One side is the animal, nothing but selfish pleasure. You know, the kind of man that leaves women and children alone, but the other side, now that's honorable. There's a part of you that desires to do what's right and always do your best. When you make a decision to wait to have sex, you've chosen honor. You've chosen not to expose anyone to pregnancy or disease because you're more than just sperm and child support. You're a man, not animal or honorable. What side controls you? Heartbeat Alaska is made possible by Kupik Carlisle Transportation, your full-service transportation and logistics company. Heartbeat Alaska is also brought to you by Frontier Flying Service. Thank you, Frontier, for getting Heartbeat Alaska airborne. And thank you, Alaska Commercial Company, for your support. Springtime is a fabulous time of year for spring carnivals. We were in Galena, Alaska recently, where there were dog mushing and many other activities. And we learned about the Gila, Galena Interior Learning Academy. <coughs> Deep in Alaska's interior, the village of Galena recently held its spring carnival. 45 seconds. Five seconds. <coughs> Potlatches, ski and snowshoe races, bingo tournaments, and dances were organized, providing an excuse for people to get together and enjoy some playtime. This little kid got run over by um, sleds at the spring carnival. It was cool! <laughs> Whose fiddle is that? Is there a lost two? I do. No. I forget uh, what running of the race this is. It, it started way back in the 1950s. You know, people come in from their trap lines and whatnot and, and just uh, get together to have fun, you know, uh, socialize and that type of thing. And it's just been ongoing ever since then. And there goes Wilson Pan. Somebody move this down the key. We're getting ready to send off uh, team number 11. There is a team number 11, Eddie Vents from Hooslia. The dog races always draw a crowd, even on work days. As such an integral part of Alaskan history, the running of the dogs has a cultural significance that recalls both the loyalty and strength of these creatures. The serum run in 1925 was testament to this when 20 dog teams raced the diphtheria antitoxin over 674 miles to Nome. Patty Nolner's father and uncle were two of the mushers on that epic and life-saving journey. He was hungry, so I'm kind of feeding him a little bit. <laughs> he has a team of dogs, but decided to sit this race out lending his musical talents to the celebration instead. Nay, 
nowadays, as the people of this area celebrate their heritage and the blessings of today, generations mingle and pastimes, ideas, and music interweave to form the matrix that our cultures and lives exist within. of Galena, home to mushers, trappers, and traditions spanning centuries, is also home to a novel form of education, the Galena Interior Learning Academy. Does it look even? Does it look proportionate? Hey, you want to put ball to there are two other residential schools in the state, but this is Alaska's only accredited vocational academic boarding school for grades 9 through 12. Ooh. As I promised, you guys would get to dissect a beaver. Far from being an outpost or some kind of reform school where parents send undisciplined kids, this is a place that students choose to go, many of them coming from smaller villages where the level of education wasn't up to their aspirations. All the high schoolers uh, come here because the school ain't so good in the village. There's a boy here from um, St. Paul and he said that they only go to like ninth or 10th grade. So he doesn't really have an option. You know, he either comes here or a different boarding school. There's a lot of like individual attention that we get here and they're at the school from like an hour before and an hour also after school in case we need that extra assistance. And I don't know, they answer our questions really well and teach us really well too. Who's the governess? Jane. I thought it was gonna trick you. Jane Eyre is the governess, right? Who is the butler? I'm bad at math anyway, but um, Don Ben, the math teacher, he, and not just me, but all the students, he pushes to do better. Um, and I think that it, the teachers here have a lot to do with why we succeed um, a lot than, you know, at other schools. I'm not saying that they don't, their teachers don't care, but here it's more one-on-one -on -one and they have more time to work with you. I gotta say, this is the best learning I ever got. Uh, back in the village, I wasn't learning nothing. You're, you're more on your own. Here they they uh, tell you when to take notes. You want a calculator? So put this for your organ, lymph node, N-O-D-E. The school takes a multifaceted approach to education. Academic classes like math and English are combined with electives like journalism. And the Gila School's vocational program is a key element in the curriculum. Community involvement is also encouraged, both as a way to keep students culturally active and as a way to serve the village of Galena. The uh, dog mushers ask us to help them out, so we're here doing some, uh, doing some fundraising for us and trying to help out with the community at the same time. This gives my students the ability to work in a little different venue, uh, something outside of our regular, our regular kitchen. Gila was set up to be a small school environment, an immersion experience conducive to student success. Kids live, learn, and play together, all within the geography of a few buildings. Me and Jack, me and Chad, 
You know, that's not going to be on the show. And that's all there is. So this is the open music room. Kids can come here, play whatever instrument we have available. We have some wind instruments. They come in, pick out beats for raps that they're writing. Yeah, so you can cross it, make that 11, cross that out, it's the 11, Y to the negative third. In this tight-knit community, where youth are steeped in the atmosphere of learning and problem solving, the creativity and invention that goes with playing music is a natural thing for students to gravitate to. How do you get it to regular piano? It's been great. We've only been doing this about um, a month or so, having an open music room, and we have scores of kids that come down every night to go through and um, experiment and learn new songs. Oh, yeah. He needs to get back with me and let me know what his actual flight times are and all. Gwen Davies Guy is the assistant principal here at Gila. Bye. Hi, Susie. Hi. Few people know this place better than she does. As you look around the school, all the artwork that you see is student-made, um, so we have a variety of artwork all around the building. She knows all the nooks and crannies of this old military building, one of four the boarding school is leasing from the United States Air Force on this mothballed base. Students have access to our computer lab in the morning and then during class breaks, and then they also have access in the afternoon. My hands are stuck in... Well, stuff I play can't go to anything else right now. And our main office. That's Betty a smoke up. So say hey, Betty. <laughs> so we're always taking pictures of kids and we post them and we make collages of them. And of course, everybody loves to see themselves. This is another oops, office room, office building. Perhaps you could still feel the pull like the gravity of this whole planet. Um, meanwhile, something was making copies of itself inside Bonet. Leah, they said Leah is the housemaid. So when you're reading, look to see where they actually let you know, specifically let you know who is is y to the second from up here over x to the first. This is our math class. We have all four different levels of math. So negative two plus one is a negative one. Mm -hmm. And then y third times y to negative eight, what would that be? This is um, uh, actually A and P, which is Let's anatomy and physiology. I got to add that too. There's other aspects down here. You know, you got characteristics of good leaders. What are good political leaders right now? I, I don't have a good role model for you. I'm having a really hard time. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it could be student government totally. In addition to academic adjunct and craft classes, Galena's Interior Learning Academy focuses on vocational and trade courses, bringing a hands-on learning experience to its students. Yeah, it hurts anyway, but... My right, is on board. Starter engage. The student that we've got today is, um, He's getting ready to solo, so we're just going to work on his landings primarily today, a couple emergency procedures, and then we're just going to go up and see what, um, if we have the weather, the weather's a little bit, a little bit challenging today, but we're going to go up and see if we, if we do have the weather, we're going to go shoot a couple landings and see how he does and see how he's coming along. So we got a tailwind, so elevator forward, that's uh -huh. kind of coming from our tail. 
kind of light today. It's, I know, it's the nicest we've had it in a long time. Yeah, I know. The school's aviation course gives students the chance to complete all the required training and eventually get their pilot's license. Donovan Nikolai is taking advantage of this opportunity and all the extra time in the air he can get. I fly him a little bit extra on the evenings and stuff because he, he asks for homework. He asks for extra homework and then he turns it in, a, you know, he'll catch up meals and stuff and turn it in. So he's really highly motivated. So he's kind of one of the kids that is really showing a, an interest in it. So we're kind of trying to fly him as much as we can. There you go. Let's get lined up with the center line a little bit. Last year I took an intro class. This year I'm in a private pilot's class so I get more flying time. And I'm hoping to continue next year. Do you plan on being a bush pilot or a commercial pilot? Or? Well, I'm thinking about it. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I really want right now. I'm thinking about a lot of different things about my future, different careers. There you go, that's all. Uh, this is uh, the class that's going on right now is the Auto 2 and Auto 4 class, and they do a, they're kind of doing a lot of the they kind of do a lot of uh, hands-on stuff, just kind of whatever breaks down in the school district's fleet. Uh, do brake work. We're doing engines right now, and um, just whatever comes in. You can use it like a regular ratchet to break it loose and then zip it out of there. Scott Miller was working as an auto tech in a dealership when he was recruited to teach at Gila. The school hired him as somebody out of industry to bring real world experience to students. We'll start tearing this thing down. He helps a youth learn how to manage problems that are unique to rural Alaska. And now we'll see what kind of damage was done inside, see what, what kind of chunks and stuff fall out of it when we take it apart. <laughs> in uh, places like Galena and other places in Alaska, you don't have a Napa store just down the street to go to, so we have to call up and order our parts, and it gets here. Sometimes you get the right parts, sometimes you get the wrong parts, and uh, it gets to be a little challenging. You can use that. Pull those out faster if you want to. In rural Alaska, it's, it's a little more, it's an even more valuable skill to have if you can manufacture the stuff you need or fabricate things or, you know, do some creative stuff to keep the car going. <laughs> One of the, my goals is that I don't want students to come here and feel like when they took the automotive classes they just kind of had a good time and that was it. Um, my goal is for them to feel like they came here and they learned some valuable skills and that they've got something when they, when they leave, they've got something they can take with them. One of the things that might distinguish you from your competitor is your communication skills. Here in the cosmetology class, you can see the broad reach of this boarding school. The curriculum, in addition to bringing kids together from all over Alaska, also attracts students from Galena's city school, leading to another example of the way Gila keeps connected with its host community. It's nice to hear about different places that I haven't been to and it's fun to learn about different cultures that they came from. On the top or on the sides and back or? Uh, like how the differences in potlatches and just different cultural things like how they do beadwork, how we, how ours and their beadwork differ and a lot of stuff like that culturally. The person that taught me all about beaver trapping was Ivan Dementif, which is a Nathabaskan guy from down at Holy Cross. Even academic classes at Gila School are hands on whenever possible and are in touch with the culture of the area. This is its nipple right there, okay, so this is where the babies would feed from. Well, it's bad luck to cut these. Ivan taught me that in his culture, if you cut these with a knife, you won't catch any more beavers. So you actually have to pull them. The science so teacher caught this, this beaver and brought it in to augment the dissection like lesson he was and teaching. And, oh, yep, she's, she's a girl. How could you tell? Because those are its babies. Yeah. Yeah. One of the tastiest things on a beaver is the beaver feet. And I save all of my beaver feet and I give them to the elders here in town. They love them. If you know about this too.
five, we're leaving, no matter what's going on. The school encourages community interaction by organizing trips to potlatches, fiddle dances, and other cultural events. very, very cooperative. They check the kids out. They, and like Thanksgiving, we invite, they, the community invite them for dinner at their homes. And we just, we just we love the community for it. They participate a lot in this program. Uh, we are going to the post office to pick up some packages. <laughs> There's lots of giggling going on, so they they tend to have fun going into town no matter what we're going in for, so this is a fun trip. <laughs> Just draw. Packages help a lot when students are away from home. It, it's a way to get those necessary things and some fun things too, like snacks. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what <did you> say? <laughs> Pinch protection. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. You're so Man, why didn't we get it out? I got pinched. Sam, what oh, do you say? Three hands? So, here, separated from their homes by miles of mountains, rivers, and valleys, the students of Gila find themselves in a singular situation, thrown together with all these other kids, taking in all these new surroundings. It takes a few weeks for most to adjust, but they eventually do. This is boneless Cajun chicken, okay? That's a chicken thigh. I'm from Anchorage, so when I came here, I was like, oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Um, it was a huge change, but after being here and living here, I like it more than Anchorage. People are really friendly, everybody knows everybody. Um, the school's great. I wouldn't be able to get an education like this in Anchorage. It's really comfortable for me. Um, it's not a lot of people, and you know, it's comfortable that I know, the, know everyone's names and where they live and stuff like that. Um, it's nice that I can come here and in my room and be my, by myself though too and just get away from them sometimes. But it's really comfortable for me. And uh, Adam, I want you to remember this. What's the butler's name? The best part I would say would be um, you know, the education and getting to know these people. You know, it's like you have a huge family. That's it makes it a lot easier when you're away from home, knowing that, you know, these people are here to support you. Um, <laughs> and, you know, being a teenager, the worst thing would be the rules. <laughs> so. Only time you can ever be with a girl is downstairs. You get in trouble if you get caught kissing or with a hickey. No hands underneath the clothing, no, only uh, can hold hands. Sit next to each other, nobody sitting on the next chair or nobody sitting on the same chair or lap. Can't put their arm around their shoulders. They're pretty strict on that. They might not like the rigorous academic schedule of pregnancy countermeasures, but for the most part, students here understand that things are the way they are for a reason. And it's not so bad. Yeah, I see need for, for like restrictions and things. Of course I do because they don't have their parents here or anything and there should be a curfew because we have school the next day. And yeah, I see a need for it very much. This place has structured me well, I think. 
and it's helped me um, being away from home and so I wouldn't be so stressed when I leave for college. Coffee and then maybe later you can play in the cups that we're doing. I have seen kids come in here and like that, well, I'm not going to make it, you know. And then they come out of here with flying colors, you know, and they graduate. It makes us feel so good. And they, after a while, they like it here. Yeah, look at that. So we're One, gonna, um, two, the and then they, they want to come back, you know. And that makes us even feel even better that they want to come back. It's, it's really, and I love to see the kids back. I always say I'm going to retire, but I've got another batch of kids that's going to graduate again, so I need to stay here. <laughs> And then that will notch there where that time mark has to be lined up. Whatever path these young people end up following, they'll always have this base to build on. The education and friendships they built here are powerful, an experience only possible in a setting such as this. I was running to an egg and he pushed me down. I didn't push you. The legacy of Galena, Alaska will be with them for the rest of their lives. Thank you everyone in Galena for your help on this story. And by the way, if you're interested in attending Gila, Galena Interior Learning Academy, you can apply right now on their website. God bless every single one of you. I'm Jeannie Green. We'll see you again traveling maybe to your village next week. You don't kick out, you lift your leg. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no self serving us get pegged. If you kick it outwards, it'll go somewhere, but if you lift it up, it'll come straight up. Like, Just bend your foot like this first and then bring it up. That's all you gotta do. Oh. It's like with your hands. Like oh, yeah, you gotta actually hit it though. <laughs> <laughs>